Hi, everybody. Um, it's, it's my great honor to present your research work here at the web conference. So uh, this work, uh, we focus on the task of uh, joint aspect category sentiment analysis and the reading prediction. OK. Um, sentiment, ana sentiment analysis is a fundamental task in NLP. And there has been two granularities of a sentiment analysis. The first one is uh, coarse grain sentiment analysis. Uh, the second one is the fine grain sentiment analysis. Um, the, here is the problem. In, in most of the existing, pro, uh, uh, the existing work of a sentiment analysis, the, the both two types of uh, granularity are, uh, are highly correlated, but most of them just uh, perform the analysis in isolation. Okay. Um, so, uh, in recent work, Bu um, proposed a new uh, task of uh, ASAP, uh, name, um, uh, joint aspect category sentiment analysis and the reading prediction. Um, in the task, two types of uh, uh, granularity of a sentiment analysis is combined in the in the. Uh, overall viewpoint, okay. Uh, but there has been two. Uh, there uh, have been three limit major limitations of the S ASAP method in both of our work. First one is uh, is is about the, the, is that uh, the two subtasks are navigated as two parallel prediction uh, with few interaction. Uh, as example here, people usually determine the sentiment of each aspect of a product or service in the first step, and based on which they then determine the overall reading of the second step. So it's, it should be in this uh, interaction. And secondly, according to people's behavior manner, the review process often involves multiple rounds of refinements. For example, the first round of uh, refinements um, would uh, produce some uh, wrong prediction, and in the next uh, in the next round of prediction, the wrong predictions will be refined. Okay, and uh, the the second uh, the third uh, problem is that um, most of the uh, existing work failed to uh, make use of the category. Uh, label text. However, it is very important to indicate the, the semantic learning. Okay. So, um, in this work, we uh, we propose a um, more effective solution for obtaining better performance of the task. The main idea is to treat the ASAP prediction as a fine to course procedure. First, we identify the sentiment trends of uh, the fine graded aspect category, and based on which we then determine the overall coarse grain uh, reading. Okay, so here is the overall framework. First of all, we we take a uh, pretend language model words to encode the review documents, and then we uh, we uh, perform global iterative reasoning over two graph, okay, and finally we make a prediction. First of all, let's check the <coughs> the re uh, the review encoding parts. So we encode both the category label text with the review text, okay, and uh, 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 please re uh, refer the readers. To all, our, all uh, to all original technique papers for more detail, okay, due to the time limit. Uh, second, uh, then let's check the fine to course hierarchical label graph, which uh, we built the graph for implementing the fine to course paradigm of uh, aspect category, uh, the ASAP, okay. So there, uh, there are three types of uh, category, uh, nodes, the aspect category, and the category group, and the overall summary nodes. 
and the base on which we build or we, we, we construct the matrix the node link, linking matrix as shown here right the red figure okay then uh, we once we built a graph we encoded uh, the graph with a GAT a graph attention at work okay then we uh, we propose a um, course collaboration mechanism for a global iterative reasoning um, which aims to thoroughly capture the correlations of nodes and enhance the overall sentiment learning okay uh, before that be before the propagation we we further built a context graph which is called which uh, the context graph as shown here and the context uh, um, we note that the context uh, graph in, in the context graph the nodes is the clause level okay <clears throat> not uh, instead of the uh, word level so <clears throat> there has been uh, in the co cross collaboration mechanism there has been t there have been two types of uh, inter interaction from the interaction of uh, from context to the full chair graph, we utilize a uh, simple attention operation. And uh, for the interaction from full chair to context graph, we propose a new condition graph convolution network, uh, which is aimed to uh, mitigate the sentiment shift and the conflict of opinion, as well as the uh, information uh, the information shift okay so uh, finally we perform the task uh, prediction okay so uh, as we marked here we we have two subtasks to predict okay one for the fine grade ASA and the, and the one for the RP the fine grade overall sentiment analysis sentiment rating Okay, so in all our training objectives, we just combine uh, the three objective sub-objectives into a unified one. And uh, let's check the uh, experiments. We perform the experiments based on the uh, the ASAP Chinese benchmark, which is constructed by Bu. Okay, and uh, here we show the the data uh, statistics also because it is uh, Chinese uh, sentences uh, the, the documents right so we um, but our framework is based on the clause level uh, inputs so we first perform uh, the pre-processing for the data sets uh, specifically, we segment each document into clauses that most frequently use the Chinese punctuations, as shown here. Okay, we also uh, for the for the evaluation, we measure the model performances with a different matrix in in, in the fine grain and the coarse grain um, perspectives, uh, respectively. Okay, so let's check the main results. Um, from the table uh, shown here, we uh, we we main, mainly gain three points of uh, observations. The first one is uh, the result in the joint model of the ASA, ACSA, and the RP are universally better than that in the separate subtasks. Okay. The second one is that uh, all proposed methods achieves the best results against all baselines in both two scheme of a task modeling. And the third one is, uh, as we can see here, uh, for the joint task modeling, we see that the, the best baseline, JM, maintains the weak, weak superiority than the best baseline, than the baseline systems. But ours, uh, the, superiority, the superiority from our model is more significant. So uh, this uh, demonstrates our, uh, the efficacy of our framework. Uh, next, we perform a ablation study. 
to look into or uh, to examine each part of our uh, system itself and uh, for uh, including the full chair graph the category label encoding and the global iterative reasoning okay uh, next we perform some analysis for giving uh, for presenting some in-depth discussion and uh, insights okay <coughs> um, we first evaluate the resistance to the unbalanced data distribution uh, please note that uh, the, the data sets uh, contains very imbalanced class distribution for example more positive labels and less negative labels here we evaluate this attribution um, the, the, fig uh, the figure here presents the radar plots and we see that the baseline system performs well on those data rich uh, labels but uh, perform worse on the minority classes in contrast all models use a balanced um, performance on different uh, data sets uh, classes okay um, uh, ne next we further uh, Explore the performance on the different joint modeling schemes. Okay, um, we make comparisons between the fine to cost uh, for chair graph, the cost to fine graph, and the parallel modeling. Uh, so, unsupervisedly, the parallel modeling is of the lowest efficacy comparing to the hierarchical modeling. And but most importantly, the fine to cost modeling is most helpful in in RP and that's in ACSA. Uh, next we examine the impact of a different tax modeling on the performance in terms of the category label tax uh, and the review tax. Okay. So from the results we, 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 we draw we 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 see that uh, the code encoding category features can lead to fewer prediction levels also, we find that uh, word level graph performance was the worst. Uh, this is because the sparsity, because of the sparsity of the node model. Also, the uh, the clause level graph is most effective. So this uh, it demonstrates the uh, reasonability of um, of uh, our methods. Next, we check the global iterative reasoning. And uh, we see that uh, both two tax tasks climbs to the peak when gradually subbing to the third iteration. So this shows that uh, the key equals to three is enough to ensure sufficient sentiment and context learning. Okay, finally, uh, we give uh, uh, we we empirically perform a case study to show the. Um, uh, to, 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 to help to understand how our model uh, works with the iterative reasoning me mechanism. Okay? Um, you see, the first, uh, at the first rounds of reason, mm, um, the, uh, the portion category uh, word representation is quite well projected to, to, to the a relevant review words such as simple and one place. Um, however, um, the notes of a portion category in the Fortier graph wrongly highlights the, highlighted. Okay, so this uh, calls to a wrong prediction. But after two uh, two rounds of uh, reasoning, the prediction has been corrected. So this this just uh, so this. Um, this helps to uh, explain why why the model is effective. Okay, um, so it's everything about our research work. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thanks. Um, any question from from the audience? I guess no one here to pose a question. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So uh, let me, uh, I just have one question. So uh, it seems yep. in uh, in your presentation of showing the uh, unbalanced labels, um, your method performs much better, especially in uh, you know sparse labels. 
Uh, yeah. Do you have any intuition uh, of that or insight of that? Um, I think uh, the key that all method can handle such an unbalanced uh, data distribution is is uh, less in that uh, all methods are uh, uh, um, let me organize my mind. That is because uh, the method sufficient uh, utilize the um, the inference on the the, the, the reason right the reason me mechanism as, as we propose um, that that's it the cross collaboration for global iteration reasoning yeah um, some uh, some rare classes uh, the information behind the the, the fuel uh, uh, signals, but all method can um, sufficiently model those uh, unbalanced nodes in the graph. So it helps to solve the uh, label unbalance uh, issue. That's all. I see, I see. So the graph structure helps to uh, to generate better. Uh, um, I think, yeah. 